So tonight, a top elected official draws criticism and praise for using the popular media in a way that takes people by surprise. I'm referring, of course, to Harry Truman, vice president at the time, who caused a sensation and a scandal with this photo. That's Lauren Bacall on the piano, by the way. This was a stunt, it turns out, to sell movie tickets. These days, President Obama is trying to sell the idea of signing up for insurance coverage at healthcare.gov. And like Mr. Truman, he uses the media, in this case a BuzzFeed video, and his use of it has people talking. Say what you will, but unless your name is Sasha Malir or Michelle, you haven't seen the president like this. The deadline for signing up for the deadline for signing up for health insurance is February February. Not like any other Wednesday. That's not right. Wednesday. February. Man. Wednesday. February. Fe February 15th. In many cases, you can get health insurance for less than $100 a month. Just go to healthcare.gov to figure out how to sign up. February 15th. Oh. Thanks, Obama. Thanks, Obama. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Seconds left in the game. Down by one. He gets it. Mr. President? Can I live? You do you. YOLO, man. <laughs> Joining us now, Chief National Correspondent and anchor of Inside Politics, John King, and National Political Reporter, Peter Hamby, an all-star panel. John, let me start with you here. You have spoken to people in the White House about this controversial video. What do they say? Any reservations about this? No, uh, they say they knew doing it. Not reservations, but they had the conversation. You know what's going to happen. People are going to say it's not presidential. It doesn't dignify the presidency. And those who already don't like the president are going to say, here's another example of him demeaning the office. What they say is, go back to Between Two Ferns with Zach Galifianakis, that it people criticized it then. They said it was not presidential, and it drove a boatload of traffic to healthcare.gov. People signed up. The numbers went up. They say that's all they're trying to do here is create a buzz to get more people, especially young people who probably aren't watching us, they don't watch traditional news programs like this, uh, to sign up for healthcare.gov. And if you look at the hits online, they were over 13 million when I walked into the room. Who knows where they are now? To them, that equals one word. So, success. Peter Ham, you are that younger generation, at least a little bit younger than, than, <laughs> than John King, and I am here. Just a little. Just, just a little. You know, and John is right. The criticism was exactly at what you would predict. This is undignified. The president shouldn't be doing this. There's all these things going on in the world. Why is he taking fake basketball shots here? You know, do the naysayers have a point here, or is just this the way to reach the audience where the audience is? Yeah, look, I mean, the sort of, like, sanctimony and tut-tutting from, from journalism, you know, professionals is, is a little pointless. This is the world we live in. The White House understands that people aren't tuning into the evening news and they're not getting their news from the New York Times uh, in the way that they used to. Um, they still believe that the Associated Press is extremely valuable to reach voters and that local news is extremely valuable. But this video, this BuzzFeed video, John, now has 13 million uh, video starts. I mean, that's that, that crushes the ratings of NBC Nightly News with or without Brian Williams. And they are people who are just not tuning in, as John said, to sort of traditional media. These are, these are uh, you know, quote unquote millennials who live on their phone all day long and the White House realizes that they have to reach those people where they are. Now the journalistic problem with that is you frankly come in, uh, you know, to sort of compliant uh, interviewers at times, the YouTube uh, interviews, for example, uh, one of them, uh, you know, Hank Green got an autograph from President Obama after interviewing him. So um, you have to give a little bit more credit to BuzzFeed, though. They did do another interview mm -hmm. with, with Ben Smith, the editor-in-chief of BuzzFeed, and he did ask him about Kayla Mueller, about ISIS, about Putin. So there was a sort of hard news corollary to the fun social Facebook video. No, it doesn't mean that real interviews are also not important. You know, the, perhaps the right measurement here, John, is is the video entertaining. I mean, look, you know, George W. Bush used the Barney video, those stupid Barney videos. When I say stupid in a nice way, they were entertaining. This is just entertaining. John Boehner recently put out a video from his office with the monkey. They had a
He's the Speaker of the House. He's the top Republican in the land right now. So some Republicans try this too. Uh, this president has had more success than them, so some of it is just jealousy. Look, I was there when Bill Clinton, then Governor Bill Clinton, went on Arsenio Hall and played the saxophone, and everybody gasped and said, you know, how can he do that? He wants to be President of the United States. Then we lived through boxes and briefs. Look, the times have changed. The biz our business is changing at its fraction. Republicans do the same thing. They go to conservative outlets to do their thing. The day after you ask for war authority, the day you sign legislation to deal with veteran suicide, some people say it's unpresidential. They're sort of linear news mm -hmm. processors. Younger generation, they go to their Facebook feed and they see all of that and they see the cat dancing. Well, look, it, 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 you know, and Peter here, Jeb Bush, of course, his entire campaign and rollout was started on Instagram and other things. I mean, this just goes to show that the game has changed. The game has changed, John, but it's not just that. I mean, speaking of Jeb Bush's Instagram, any professional that works in digital politics will tell you that it's not just using the platforms, it's using them smartly. Just because Jeb Bush announced on Instagram uh, to his PAC doesn't mean he gets digital. Mm -hmm. I mean, the White House understood that BuzzFeed has kind of a symbiotic relationship with Facebook. Guess what? 71% of adults in the United States are on Facebook. So by getting that video out there, it's not just on BuzzFeed. Mm -hmm. This thing is going all over the place, and the White House understands smartly, and they have done that since going back to 2007 when he announced it. It's on CNN, in fact, among other places. And, of course, when you go on the video, there's a link to sign up for healthcare.gov so they get every bit of what they want. John King, Peter Hamby, great to have you here. Really appreciate it.